so there's a, a coffee shop down around the corner there, and I'd walk there from my office, which if you want to picture his buddy's office in terms of placement. And uh, I was walking back from the coffee shop with my coffee and got to that door over there, and then this gigantic 1960s Dodge, probably Imperial, Chrysler Imperial, comes rolling up next to me, giant smoking machine and, uh, and rusted and all this. And uh, the window rolls down and um, there's an old woman in the seat and she was like a, like a mummy, she was preserved. Uh, she had like, the, uh, like a stole and like a, a, the, little, the little puff hat and all this, like right out, right out of the era of the car. Um, and she was so small that you'd figure like she needed like boxes tied to her shoes or something to operate this thing. I mean, there's just so much cabin in it. And she's like, hey, uh, hello. And she's like, you go into that door and you go downstairs and you get me a hamburger and some fries and whatever drinks they have. And it's a tr as you can see, it's a beautiful large church. So I said, you want me to go in there? Yes. Get me a hamburger with fries and a drink. Okay. <laughs> so I go down the stairs and immediately when you go down the stairs, I smell a cafeteria smell and follow my nose to it. And it becomes clear that it's, uh, it's sort of a, 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 a food kitchen. Uh, what do you call it? A, yeah, what that. Like a soup kitchen kind of thing set up. And uh, there's people in there eating. So I go up to the, to the counter and they sort of give me the hairy eyeball because I, I don't look like someone that, that needs to get this free meal or whatever. And I, they say, what do you have? And I say, oh, it's not for me. Um, there's a elderly lady outside in this giant old Chrysler and they're like, oh God, we've told her if she wants the food, she's gotta come in. This is not, this is not a takeout restaurant. So what do we do? And they, they said, oh, okay, we'll do it this time. But tell her next time she's got to come in. So they put the little styrofoam thing together and I carried it up to her and uh, handed it to her. She's just like, thank you, bye. And just <laughs> drove away. And those are the kind of little encounters you do have. But I guess you have them in any, in any city, right? No, you only have them in Troy. <laughs>